Hey everybody, I'm John Swansek. Welcome to Direct Connect on PGATour.com, where you guys, the fans, get to ask the questions of PGA Tour players through Facebook and Twitter and PGATour.com. Our guest this week, defending his title at the Arnold Palmer Invitational presented by MasterCard, we welcome Martin Laird, who joins us from Orlando. Martin, thanks for a few moments this week. Uh, I'm sure you're ready to get it cranked back up after ending your week a little too soon at the Transitions Championship last week, huh? Yeah, you know, uh, obviously it wasn't an ideal week last week, but it uh, gave me a nice couple of days off this weekend. And uh, as you said, I've, I've been excited to get back here for, for a year now. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to this week. A lot of questions from fans anticipating your title defense at Bay Hill this week. So let's jump right in with Martin Lair. The first one comes through Facebook from Chris O'Connor. He says, what's better, winning Arnie's event or celebrating winning Arnie's events with your buddies? It must have been uh, some experience last year for you. Yeah, you know, I uh, I got to go with winning Arnie's event. It's one of those things that at, when you're out there in the final round and grinding away like I was, it's you know at the time you're not thinking about how much fun it was, but uh, you know looking back, uh, you know remembering the shots I hit and and, and how I kind of dug it out and to putting the last, it's uh, you know it still obviously brings a smile to my face when I think about it. And you know I played the back nine today in a practice round and just being out there and remembering the putts I made in the final round, it uh, you know it's obviously very special. So is receiving the trophy from Arnold Palmer, of course. That's uh, another question that came through Facebook for Martin from Brent Kircher. He said, what did Mr. Palmer say to you when you guys shook hands? You know, he, he obviously congratulated me, and I, I think I remember saying uh, something about you've got a tough golf course out there, and, and he kind of smiled and said, just the way I like it. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, to be honest, the last the 20 minutes after I won is all kind of turned into a bit of a blur. You know, it's... Uh, you know, obviously, this is the excitement of winning, and, and you know, all just all happens so fast. It's, uh, you know, I wish the whole conversation I had with Mr. Palmer I could remember, but but I really can't. But I do remember, uh, you know, him congratulating me and, and, and me saying that, uh, the comment about his golf course. Martin Laird from Glasgow, Scotland, our guest. A lot of fellow Scots uh, weighing in through our social media platforms with questions for Martin. Here's one from Sir Sean. It came through the tour report. He says, uh, Hey, Martin. It's really good to see both yourself and Paul Laurie representing Scotland so well in the world of golf. How often do you come back to visit your family and friends in your old stomping ground where you played most of your golf as a youngster? You know, I, unfortunately, I don't get back enough. I, uh, you know, I'll get back a couple of times throughout the year. Um, you know, I always come back and play the Scottish Open. I would like it to be more, but the you know, schedule is normally pretty busy in the middle of the year, and uh, you know. We travel so much when we have an, an, a week off, it's kind of nice just to go back to my house in, in America and uh, you know, not have to fly across the Atlantic. It must have been fun matched up with Paul Laurie at the Accenture in Tucson earlier this year when you guys met in the third round, right? Yeah, that was, that was kind of cool. You know, it was uh, a little weird, only two Scots in the field and we get matched up in the third round. It was uh, unfortunate only one of us could go through, but um, no, it's, uh, Paul's a great guy and it, it was fun to play against him and uh, you know, He's a great guy, but I still wanted to beat him, and, I, and luckily I managed to do that on the day, and uh, you know, it was, it was fun. Here's a question that comes through Twitter for Martin Laird from at Great Scott. He says, what are your thoughts on Sandy Lyle being inducted into the World Golf Hall of Fame? The 1988 Masters was an amazing moment. It will be an amazing moment in May in St. Augustine, Florida for your fellow countrymen, Martin. Yeah, you know, I was uh, very pleased to hear that, that Sandy was, was going to be inducted. I mean, I think it's... Uh, overdue with a lot of people. He's uh, he's probably got one of the, the best careers that people really don't talk about. Um, you know, he's obviously won the Open Championship, won the Masters, you know, won, won all the big tournaments over here in the PGA Tour pretty much. And, you know, as I said, I think it was overdue. And, you know, obviously I've, I've got to know Sandy a little bit over the last few years and, you know, he's a great guy and, uh, you know, very deserving of that, of, of, of getting into the Hall of Fame. And, and I'm sure it'll be a, a big day for him when he's, he's down there. Well, Martin Lair was born in Glasgow, but uh, played his collegiate golf in the States at Colorado State University. And that's uh, the subject of our next question that comes in through the tour report from our man Ben Robinson. He says, why did you choose Colorado State? And were there any other colleges you were interested in at the time? Yeah, you know, it's a question I've had a lot um, since I've turned pro. But, uh, you know, I chose Colorado State. I, I you know, always kind of joke, good recruiting. I, I really like the coach. Jamie Barmel is still there and uh, you know I, I'd never actually been to the States before it was going to be my first time over the week I came over before classes started and you know come from Scotland I, I didn't want to come over and, and go straight into a big city somewhere or, or somewhere the weather was a little too warm I absolutely loved it up there if I had the same decision to make again I would I would I would make the same same selection it was uh, you know Fort Collins is a great place to go to school. Well, Martin Laird may have played his college golf at Colorado State 
married a girl from Colorado as well, but he always upholds the most important Scottish traditions, including one during his wedding ceremony last year. Tell us that story so we can show folks a picture. Yeah, I, uh, I got married last July, um, and of course I got married in, in my full kilt outfit. <laughs> I'm assuming the tradition you're talking about has got something to do with what's under the kilt, and, uh, and uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a true Scotsman, so all the rumors are true. <laughs> Was it just you in the kilt or the entire uh, wedding party on, on your side, all your groomsmen? Uh, it was uh, all my groomsmen uh, and, my, and my uncles and cousins and friends that came over from Scotland. Pretty much, I think there was only maybe one or two player, or guests that came over that weren't that, from Scotland that weren't in a kilt. So it was, uh, you know, it was a pretty cool sight to see. Uh, you know, we got married in Steamboat Springs in Colorado and they've definitely never seen so many uh, white legs as they saw uh, that day. Thanks for the time, Martin. Enjoyed chatting with you and thanks for connecting with us. No problem. That was great. Thank you.